So it's evident that the DNC and the Democratic Party's biggest loyalists, their, you know, hacks and media, they want to wrap this Democratic Party primary process up already. They don't want to hear what the rest of the voters have to say. They just want it to be over with. And they want Bernie Sanders to drop out just last week uh, or maybe the week before. I put out a video talking about how Democratic Party hacks like Bakari Sellers and, you know, journalists, quote unquote, journalists like Jennifer Rubin want him out of the race, but he hasn't left. Now, I don't necessarily know how long he's going to stay in. I personally believe that he should stay in all the way into the convention, and I'll make that case in this video. But according to Washington Post's Jenna Johnson, he is weighing out his options currently. And he has three options according to his closest confidants, according to the Washington Post. One, keep his campaign technically active, but forego airing attack ads on Joe Biden. Two, stay in the race and aggressively compete. I'm assuming that means airing attack ads against Joe Biden. Or three, end the campaign. Drop out, call it quits, endorse Joe Biden. There's a lot of uncertainty currently, not just in the world, but in American politics. And if there's still time, I want to make my pitch. He should opt for number two. Don't drop out. Don't endorse Joe Biden. Don't withhold your criticisms of Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders shouldn't just choose to, you know, stay in the race, but I'm going to explain why I think it's absolutely necessary for him to stay in the race. Um, first of all is just the easiest um, argument, democracy. What we've seen is a competing vision between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, Half the country hasn't voted yet. I haven't made my voice heard. They're offering two competing worldviews. Joe Biden is offering the status quo, business as usual, and Bernie Sanders is offering an alternative vision. You shouldn't deny voters the chance to make their voices heard, even if it doesn't necessarily change the outcome if Bernie stays in the race. We at least need to gauge where the Democratic Party electorate is at. And maybe this, you know, process isn't going to tell us much, but at least, you know, it's going to give us some indication of where voters are. How many Democratic Party voters at this time think that Joe Biden is the best person? How many think it's Bernie Sanders? Like, we just need to give people the chance to make their voices heard. New York hasn't voted yet. My state hasn't voted yet, as I stated. So we shouldn't deny voters that chance, right? These are two very, very different views of the world, and I think they should be allowed to compete. Now, another reason why Bernie Sanders should stay in the race is because so long as he's an active competitor, that forces Joe Biden to do better. And as much as Democrats hate that, it's good for Joe Biden. Joe Biden wouldn't feel pressure to, you know, make these live streams if it weren't for Bernie Sanders. They would, his staffers would hide him away until September when it's time to debate Donald Trump. So Bernie Sanders forces Joe Biden to be a better candidate. I'm not saying that Biden is going to adopt the policies that Bernie Sanders wants, but he still has to compete in some way because it's not over yet. He could still technically lose, right? Bernie isn't mathematically eliminated. So Joe Biden has to do better by the mere fact that Bernie is remaining in the race. That's another reason why Joe Biden supporters even should want Bernie to stay in the race. And Bernie Sanders has leverage so long as he stays in the race and forces Joe Biden to compete. On top of that, Joe Biden doesn't have the support of young voters. Our voices matter. If you're a millennial or a Zoomer or a Gen Xer, I don't think that you should just be forced to support who, you know, these people in other states coronated as the nominee. I think that's bullshit. Joe Biden needs to be competitive. He has to win our votes. So let us make our voices heard in the states where we haven't voted yet. On top of that, you know, um, Bernie can still use his campaign to mobilize like he's been doing to um, help with COVID-19. I think that Bernie still has this huge grassroots army that can raise money for various causes. And sure, that technically won't just dissipate once he's out of the race, but it certainly is better to have this cohesive unit 
this block of the Democratic Party mobilized and ready to respond to, you know, various crises that may pop up as a result of coronavirus, you know, directly and indirectly, how it impacts the country and the economy and disadvantaged and marginalized groups. So if I'm Bernie Sanders, I'm not going anywhere. I am staying in this race. I'm using the leverage that I have to make as big of a difference as I possibly can. And the biggest reason is that he should hold out because, you know, things can change. This is an unprecedented crisis that we are dealing with. Now, you know, my thinking was that if it didn't change after March 17th, then it's unlikely to change, but that doesn't mean that it's impossible. So he should stay in this race just in case it changes. Joe Biden is already proving that he is incapable of being a leader. That's why President Cuomo was trending, because Democratic Party voters are already a little bit disillusioned with the choice that they made in propping up Joe Biden. So Bernie shouldn't go anywhere. He should stay in the race, let the rest of the country make their voices clear. We have two competing visions of America. Let us vote. Stay in the race. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain by staying in this race. And I don't think Bernie Sanders should drop out. No, I know that people are going to say that I'm being unrealistic and that, you know, I'm not willing to see the writing that's on the wall. No, I know that it's going to be difficult. Most likely, it will be Joe Biden who's the nominee. But is that a foregone conclusion? No, not necessarily yet. And if there's even just a little tiny glimmer of hope, I'm going to hang on to that until it's completely gone. So stay in the race, Bernie. Don't drop out. Fight to the very end and fight aggressively. Because even though the Democratic Party is going to attack you for criticizing Joe Biden, one, it's going to make him do better, hopefully. And two, you're not going to win them over by doing what they want. They want you to drop out and endorse Joe Biden. And even if you do that, they're still not going to like you. So since they're not going to like you, fuck them. Stay in, compete, make Joe Biden do better, force him to be a better candidate, and maybe you can win. Who knows? It's unlikely, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. Crazier things have happened in this country. Joe Biden looked all but done after coming uh, in, what was it, like fifth in New Hampshire. So things can change. This primary has been incredibly volatile. Just don't leave yet. I think that we need you to compete. We need you as a leader. And being in this race makes you a more visible leader. Don't don't drop out yet.